Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martin and welcome back to a new Let's Play Season 3 of Stranded Deep. The stable build, Silver Point 36, it's going to be awesome with heat stroke and everything in it. And of course, the three missions where we're going to prepare ourselves to. We're going to create a new game, a random uh, world with no custom island. So we have to start from scratch and build our way up. Let's do it. All right, there we are. No wrecks. That's a shame. All right, so um, one thing that worries me the most right now is heat stroke. And so staying too long in the sun causes problems. Our trusty watch will beep once as a warning that we are sunburned and beep another time if we go past that stage and we have a heat stroke and then really have to get into the shade to fix it and if not then we have a problem so let's make sure that doesn't happen i'll do my very best but let's first look on the beach what kind of stuff we have oh, oh. got a tarp which is good so i can make a solar still And another priority is making sure we have carry always some water with us. Because as so many people responded in the comments section of previous uh, videos, the dehydration goes very fast. And I'm talking about uh, the, the two middle bars, the hunger and the uh, thirst bar. It starts with the thirst bar going down very rapidly followed up by your hunger bar and from that point on you're in some trouble and uh, that's not really what i want all right so just picking up everything that i can find on the floor and then we're going to come up with a plan now this island is just a starter island so we are not going to stay here but that island looks pretty good and the reason being is that it has very high trees so it, it has a ton of shade and we, if we probably go at the north side of the island so that's the other side from where we're looking at now we probably have the most shade that we can get if you want to know where north is i believe coconuts always spawn to the north side see they're always at this direction so this is how you can know and a little bit navigate as well and that will help you all right what i want to do first if i can is um, make a crude axe but i need some cutting equipment so let's take this and get a lashing it is three ten times i believe don't think they changed it oh my god <laughs> the catcher cats are breaking down my <laughs> table and everything all right so we got that and we have enough for a knife but i don't really need a knife knife is good for skinning but i have no need for that um, this is more important now i can chop more wood if i like all right so vitals we are healthy so I think with a healthy vital sign, I can cross here and maybe get sunburned, but shouldn't get a heat stroke. I don't think it happens that fast. So what I will do, and this is what I always do in every Let's Play of Strand the Deep. Every time I travel from one island to another, I will just cut it out. So um, I will do that right now as well. So see you at the other side. all right we're almost there it looks uh, more promising than the first island for one we have a wreck at the right hand side it's a big cliff here in the middle as well and that's exactly the spot where i think oh there's a plank over there that's the first time i see one in the water uh, where we have a good shady place so let's get ashore here have to be careful there could be always snakes so that's a thing so let's quickly scout around the island and see if we can find a suitable place to build our first little shelter. And uh, I have to take it a bit easy, keep my ears open. 
don't see any pigs. Normally for me, if I see pigs, it's an indication that there's a possibility of snakes being on the island. Alright, this looks really nice. This is a good spot. Let's see, by the way. I'm still healthy. I wasn't sunburned while I traveled to the other side. So going from island to island is very much possible. Good to know, I think. All right. Um, looking for a nice clearing. Nice, good patch. I think if I remove these trees, they're all gone. Uh, that will be pretty nice, actually. Um, yeah, it's not such a big island. But I think I can work with this. Definitely. So yeah, I think I'm going to set up camp over here. Let's clear my backpack. I really want to have a look in that wreck. And the water still is a priority. I'm actually going to look into that first. So let's see. Um, I think it's under structures. Here, solar still, three stones. I just need a lashing. That's actually all I need. So um, let's make that happen first. So I can cover my butt if I get a heat stroke. There always will be water for me then. Um, there is a yucca. Awesome. All right, let's go back. Now the solar still you can place everywhere you like. It will just produce the same amount uh, of water. There we go. So let's put a little bit out of the way, uh, maybe close to this tree because I probably won't be able to build there. There we go. All right, so this can already start to fill up perfectly. Um, also, they increase the yucca spawn. I can see that right now as well because yuccas are everywhere. That's pretty cool. But um, let's see, this wreck. Thus far, no sharks on my way here and there were some, but got some clay. Which is nice. Um, but more interested right now in this. Okay, I can see already. Oh, the barrels. Oh. I see. If you know me a little bit by now, I love barrel rafts. They're perfect. Um, I think this wreck we can enter from this side. Yeah. Oh, 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 lionfish. That's not good. They sting a little bit. Let's put it this way. All right. Um, we go back here later. I need to check out the beach a little bit better. I can already see a tarp laying around. And I also need to prepare for the coming night. There was another question on my previous video. Someone asking. Oh, <laughs> there's a crabs. It's okay. Someone asking, um, I'm constantly cold and what can I do about that? It's, um, it's pretty simple. You get cold when the sun goes down or you get cold during the day uh, when it's raining and you're soaking and wet. Um, just make a fire and stay close to it and it will fix your problem. Alright. So... This area, definitely, this is going to be nice. Yes, this is pretty, pretty decent size and full in the shade. Okay, what I do need is to chop down one of the palm trees here. Because I need the leaves to make a shelter. So let's do that quickly, get some lashing. There's a lot of uh, yucca now. I'm really happy about that. Perfect. This shading, I really have to do. Uh, I'm really consciously about this now. Like turning around like this and uh, make sure I'm not in the sun. Even though it really takes some time before you get sunburned. It has to be said though. Alright, four of these. And if you go to structures, just need one more lashing. Um, Chop a few of these. And I think by that yucca tree I just chopped down here. I think there should be two laying around. Alright, that's perfect. Cool. Let's make that shelter. So 
we can save the game as well and I will just do it a little bit out of the clearing area because I want to make my house here so maybe close to these rocks that will do just fine for me oh, can that fly <laughs> There we go. It's, um, yeah, they definitely changed things by how you can place them in the world. And one of the things that should be possible um, is to make a campfire inside your house. So on the foundation, this is what I understand from the release notes. I haven't tested it yet. Um, I can as soon as possible, but I need to make a hammer and I just want to chop this down. Well, I'm at it. Um, so let's go around the island, pick up all the resources that we can. Oh, quickly check my. Oh, there is a piggy here. That's good news, though. It's getting late. Um, there's so many things I want to do, but I need to prepare before it gets dark. That's that's really things that I have to prioritize. So let's make a fire here and let's make sure oh, sorry let's light it as well all okay, right cool now with this pick around I'm a little bit more not worried but careful um, there might be a snake. Often it's uh, if it's one pig, it's one snake. Thus far, but um, they don't tell you all the changes they made in the release notes. The release notes itself, I always find very... have contained a little bit of information and not much. I think they can improve a little bit on that. Just explain a little bit more what new features they have added into the game. Oh, cool. Oh, 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 oh. I can see him as well. So we hunt him. Why not, right? Two spares will do. He's right over there. I don't know if you can see him, but in a second. There he is. Hunting snakes when the sun goes down. Did I got him? I think I did. Oh yeah, he's nailed to the floor. <laughs> we'll leave him for now. Um, sun is going down. Excellent. Well, I think that was a pretty okay start. We can run around the island quickly, I think. Just have a quick look. I'm going to guess there's one snake, there's one piggy. Or vice versa. Just quickly see if... I miss any resources. Um, maybe fail to see a wreck. But I don't think so. Ah, oh, look at this. Alright, it's getting dark. I have to really hurry back. There's the fire. Don't want to make dark videos. I can hear the pig running around. Maybe you, um, you make a shelter for the pig. Who knows? And I need this ladder eventually though as well. But we can get ladder from sharks. Anyways, um, I hope you're going to enjoy this series. Oh, that's uh, actually, I never noticed the fire. You can see now at the circle how long it still has for burning. You can check this by the water still as well, by the way. The solar still, how much? I think it's full. Yeah, but we don't have coconuts to drink from. That's fine. I think our vitals are okay. Yeah, they are. So. Thank you so much for watching this the first episode of probably a reasonable long series where uh, the end goal is that I have done all three missions, build a stone clay house if I can, and of course have a motorboat because we have to run around fast, right? Till then, thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you at the next episode. Bye! Bye.